Hello guys! I am just a random fangirl and welcome back to my channel! Really weird because in Netflix it's divided in seasons, but in all of the other places that I've seen it, where I was watching it before, it wasn't divided on seasons, so it was like, you know, episode 29, episode 50, episode 62, something like that, but in Netflix it's divided into seasons, so yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to edit those names, so you know, you can let me know in the comment section if I should put the season on the episode or just like the episodes without caring about the seasons, I don't know. Sometimes Netflix does weird things, so I am not really sure how to proceed with that. Uh, and yeah, I was booted out because last episode was actually season 2, episode 1, but yeah, I, it, it was just weird. I think that it's, I, I don't know, maybe because of the arcs? of the show maybe that's why <laughs> i don't know i'm not sure but anyway last episode was a miroku centered episode and i really really loved it i love how all of the characters are coming together and actually learning how to work as a team and we are getting glimpses of everyone like everyone has an important part to play and i just love that everyone has their own reasons like legitimate reasons for wanting to go after naraku because like yeah naraku is just out there ruining every everyone's life so yeah I, I I definitely do understand why he has so many haters like yeah he kind of deserves it he's kind of an asshole <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was a Miraku centered episode and we are running out of time because he had to use um, the wind tunnel even when he was like hurt because of, you know, reasons and plot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he had to use it because there was no other way out and he ended up hurting himself even more and now basically the only chance that he has to leave is if we find Naraku and kill him because that would, you know, basically end the curse in his family so i really hope that we can do that uh, there's a bunch of episodes left so i am guessing that this miracle problem is going to be more like a slow burn of some sorts like maybe we'll we're going to see him getting progressively worse and yeah, I just I just love that. I am a sucker for drama, so I really love that. I really just love how we get more of a glimpse about Miroku and who he is as a person. Because yeah, those things are really important. I really like characters that are well, you know, like well written, like complex characters, like characters that, you know, make sense in the story and yeah I just love to know more about Miraku it was a really solid episode I just I really liked it I think that it's one of my probably favorite episodes I I'm not sure <laughs> I just know that I really really enjoyed it and I don't know maybe I don't think that we're going to see Naraku in a while but I don't know how this is going to work out because there are so many episodes left. So I really want to know what they what what they are going to be all about. Anyway, um, I don't think that I have anything else to say. I'm really excited to be diving into this next episode. And yeah, so if you're watching this on YouTube, this is going to be a highlighted reaction. But if you want to catch the full length, uncut, unaided reactions, I am going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below and feel free to check it out. We are a bunch of episodes ahead in there as well. And I think that's it. So without further ado, let's just 
just jump into this reaction, shall we? Ume's absence from school while she's in the Warring States era. Ah! Okay. A cold. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. Really hard. Students, it's Kagome here. Ah, books you forgot. Your younger brother dropped them off and asked me to forgive you for being such a scatterbrain. Ah, well, that is nice. At least someone in Kagome's family has their act together. It's been a while now since this everyday average schoolgirl has been crossing back and forth from the Warring States era to modern times. In the other dimension, she said you tend to fall behind. Oh, he's so nice. I love him. Her school books at home. Do you think you could give these to her before class starts? What? There's a big test coming up. Oh no! I better go tell my sister. Well, thanks. Please keep me updated. Oh. Seem better to send one that he cannot kill. Yeah. Who? Who is that? To move your body now. Yes, Master Naraku. Good. Can you kill them? Yes, Master Naraku. Who is that? Can you kill Inuyasha, Miroku, and Songo? Yes, Master Naraku. Who is that? I'm guessing he's going to be powerful. But this is really unfair that Naraku is so cute, you know? It's unfair. I don't know. You'll get it eventually. Even if it was luck, you saved us. Just get lucky again next time. Oh my god, I love him. Sorry about that. My wind tunnel can't be used for a while. Mm. I'm feeling vulnerable, and hearing you talk with such confidence is encouraging. Ah. Chill out, monk. I got you covered. <laughs> if Naraku comes slinking around, I'll take care of him with the Tetsaiga. Even if it is luck, if I can engage the Tetsaiga's true power again, I know I can beat Naraku. I vow. I know that I have said this before, but I just really love Inuyasha as a character. I just, I don't know. There's this kinds of characters that I really like, those characters that, like Inuyasha, he doesn't have always, he, he doesn't always have an um, a easy time with, you know, actually showing his good intentions or that he means well, that he is not all awful. Like, I don't know, I just really, really love his character. I think that Inuyasha, it's, it's really, really great. He reminds me a little bit of this other character called Chuaning, because, I don't know, there's just these kinds of characters that I really care about, because seeing Inuyasha as this character who is you know, more complicated than he appeared on the first episodes because of his motivations for looking for the Shika no Tama and wanting it and how he struggles with himself um, while trying to help others. Like, I feel like that's a part of him that he is not really fond of because maybe he thinks about it as weakness and he has a hard time actually creating you know relationships with other people because of that but he's he's such a good boy <laughs> i just really love him um 
I think that he's just I just think that he's amazing in so many ways and seeing this kind of friendship blossom between him and Miroku and and Shippo and Kagome and you know starting also to flourish between him and Sango and just the gang in general I think that it's so heartwarming to watch and to witness because we've seen Inuyasha since episode one and I, I don't know I just feel like it's so beautiful to see this complicity between them and how they are actually becoming a team and a group in such a natural way, in such an organic way. I, I just really love their interactions and how they are relying on one another a little bit more each time and how they keep finding things about one another and how even though they have been working together for a while um, there are still some things that need to be said and things that they are still figured out about themselves and about their teammates and I just think that it's beautiful I don't know it's so organic it's I, I don't know I just I just really like it because Inuyasha doesn't always has a patient personality he doesn't always has an easy to get along personality but when you actually get to know him he is really reliable and he really cares about the people that he's close with and even some other people even if he doesn't want to so I think that Inuyasha is just such an easy to love character because how could you not love him and how can you not fall in love with all of this team and all of these people and characters because they are so amazing i don't know i just think that it is beautiful and i really like how the show is progressing with these relationships and these characters and yeah i just i just i just really love it <laughs> <laughs> oh. <gasps> That's a bad scar. Was it yes, from it who hurt you? The demons? No, I got this scar from my younger brother. I knew it, I knew it. I, uh... I could have prevented his death. Kohaku was tender-hearted. He was always a very gentle boy. Perhaps he wasn't suited for the life of a demon slayer. I'm sorry to bring up such painful memories. Must have been. Mm -hmm. Did you follow the deeper points of our conversation, you peeping toms? Ah! Huh? Oh, poor monkey! Uh, hey, what's with all the ruckus? Oh, God! <laughs> And rushed to hell. What did they have to say? Yeah. <laughs> mm, it was worth the pain. That was a wonderful sight we just saw. <laughs> yeah, that time was actually has been drawn into not a purpose. Web, the sacred Shikon jewel. Mm. But I feel sorry for Songo the most. She saw her father and her younger brother yeah. being killed. Yeah, she has a rough. Everyone has a rough past. Oh my god! That is one hurt individual! Oh my god, how is he astounding? He's not breathing. This yeah. Is nothing more than a simple villager. Those wounds weren't made by a sword. He's not the only one who's been killed around here. Huh? The air is filled with a thick smell of blood. Oh my god. The blood is fresh. There's been a slaughter. Oh God! Is he the person that Naraku sent? Is anyone left alive? This heartless bastard doesn't deserve to live. Let's find him before he makes another move. Oh God! Be careful, babe. If he thinks I'm the kind of guy who's just gonna stand still and take it, he's got another thing coming. Oh, honey! Be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Wait! 
There is no way! That's Sango's brother! What the hell is going on? Did Naraku revive him? Kohaku? His outfit is like Sango's. He's a demon slayer. Oh. Kinala recognizes him. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's a trap! You can say whatever you want about Naraku. He is a bastard. But he is smart and he is powerful, so. It is a trap for her. Specifically for her. Oh, honey. Let me see your face. It definitely is her brother. Kohaku. Just be careful, babe. No, be careful, be careful. Oh my god. He's there? He's there? Or. Oh god. Oh, that is so messed up. Oh, honey. But can you fight him? I don't think he's in control. Yeah. Oh god. Ah. You will bring me the Tetsaiga. Oh god. I will be waiting for you, Sango. Oh, this is bad. So yeah, that that was the plan. Forgivably cruel. Sango can slay her own brother. Let's leave her alone for a while. Leave her with her thoughts until she's ready to talk to us about it. Yeah. Uh, Naraku is well, really great as well. Hook. So what if he's Naraku's puppet with a jewel shard in his back? Kohaku's well, responsible for slaughtering an entire town. If Sango it, can't kill him, then we can take him down. Hey Sango, you got a problem with that? Honey, oh, bad timing, bad words. I can't believe how utterly insensitive you can be. Well, Sango, wait up. I don't know what we're going to do about him. Me either. Do we kill him? Of course. <laughs> no matter what? Yeah. Anything about me? Probably. About himself? No. He doesn't even know that Naraku is our sworn enemy. I won't allow Naraku to manipulate Kohaku. I must rescue him from Naraku's evil grip. But you need to talk to everyone about it. He's not going to do that even even if you steal it oh god or you could talk to everyone you know i really understand why sango is making the decisions that she is i really understand that she's really turned up by this i really really do understand it but she needs to be smarter she needs to actually think about it for a second and i get it it is narrow that we're talking about it is not easy because let's say that even if she tells them Oh, you know what? He has my brother and he's manipulating him. And I am not willing to kill him because, well, he is my brother. Even if she did tell them and even if they agreed on, you know, whatever she wanted to do and try to track Naraku down and beat him in some way to... Um, to retrieve Kohaku in some way or another, even if she managed to do that. Um, 
even if everyone was in agreement of that and supporting her even then there is no guarantee that they are going to be able to actually do it so i really do understand why she is you know having the idea of you know what i don't have any other option but to but to actually do what he told me to do and then i can save i can save my brother because it is not an easy decision it is not a simple decision for anyone let alone her that it's her family so i really understand it i don't i don't know maybe it's just that even when we know things about naraku and we've seen what kind of an asshole he is um i'm not really sure what kind of villain he is you know like i don't think i don't know because there are those villains that are terrible and that are awful but if you make a deal with them they are going to keep their promise in some way or another because you know they have a code they have their own sense of morality i love those kind of villains and then there's a the kind of villains that really do not give a shit about anything and even if you do manage to make a deal with them they are not going to fulfill their end of the bargain because they don't care they don't give a shit so i really don't know what kind of villain eric is because of all of the things that we know about him and all of the shit that he has done i am going to assume that he is the second kind of villain and even if sango ends up bringing the tessa to him and betraying the group which I, I I understand why she would do that I don't think it's the smart move to do at all but she's clearly not thinking straight because she's overcome with feelings and I am not going to criticize that so it is really understandable what she's doing even though as an outside perspective you kind of know better and you don't want her to make that choice but anyway um because of that i don't think that naraku is going to be like oh yeah well you brought me the the, the, the saiga here's your brother live happily ever after no he's probably going to be an asshole because that's who Naraku is I have no other information that it's supporting my theory of well at, at least she's going to have her brother back like no I don't know I don't think that Naraku is that kind of person I don't trust him at all um, but maybe he is I don't know what do I know so yeah Sango is in a really tough situation and a really tough <sighs> decision as Inuyasha is because yeah my poor guy like ugh, it is just a difficult situation for everyone Nariku has so messed up ideas and I mean like from a villain standpoint like he's doing really smart things um like he's actually working like yeah I, I i understand why he's doing the things that he's doing and his attacks are strategically bad for the group morale but also for them for their mental state so like he's being really smart about it and i can appreciate a badass villain that's an asshole like i am never going to be on naraku's side because he's such an asshole and i care too much for inuyasha and kagome and miroku and shippo and sango and kirara I, I just care too much for them you know so i'm never going to be rooting for naraku but damn you know what i appreciate a good villain i appreciate that he's doing the hard work and actually thinking things through and not being you know like like he's smart i'll give him that he's smart and he has the looks and he has the style and he's ruthless so you know what i can get behind that like yeah i am not on his side but i can get behind that like 
Yeah, he's good at being evil. I appreciate that. <sighs> anyway, I really don't know what uh, Sango is going to do for the next episode. I'm not really sure what she should do. All of the options just suck right now. <sighs> we just can't have one nice episode, can we? No, everything is constantly awful. <laughs> Anyway, if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to leave a like or a comment. Anything you want would be highly appreciated. And if you want to know when I upload my reactions, I'm going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below. And feel free to check it out. I guess... Oof, sorry. I guess that's it. So we'll be seeing each other on the next reaction. Bye!